What's happening? Tim with Nomad Trading. Let's talk today about Power E-Trade. If you're watching this video, first of all, thank you for clicking on my video out of all the other videos and channels you could have clicked on. You clicked on mine and I'm humbled and very grateful for that. Uh, the YouTube revenue I'm going to get from AdSense, uh, yeah, it lines my pocketbook with many, many quarters and dimes and, and maybe a few bucks. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Tim. I'm going to be your corny host for, for today, your host with the most. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do so. I really appreciate that. So does my family. I, I love you if you've done that already. If not, what are you doing? Come on, go ahead and like, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, make sure you comment and ask me questions and tell me uh, what a doofus I am. I mean, who even uses that word doofus? That makes me a doofus TV. Anyway, uh, yeah, getting sidetracked. Let's talk about Power E-Trade. A lot of people have asked me questions almost every week about Power E-Trade, how to get started using Power E-Trade. Um, what are some of the basics about it? I get emails about it. So I'm going to try to make a few videos here and there about Power E-Trade. not going to go too, too in-depth in this one. Just going to cover the basics, a few things that you need to know. If you're walking off the street, and searching on YouTube and you, you haven't even traded a stock before, or you're just getting started brand new, this video is for you. I'm not some trading stock market guru millionaire guy. I just do it in my free time here and there because I enjoy it, uh, like a hobby trader, I guess. And then I make YouTube videos about it, trying to get all you guys up to speed with where I am. And then hopefully you can soar past me and make millions of dollars and you can show me your Lamborghini on Instagram and all that. And I can feel good that, hey, you know, I helped get that guy or girl started. Yeah, let's do let's do that. And make sure whenever that happens that you send me an email telling me how you watched my video and it helps you get started and now you're a millionaire. Uh, that'll make me feel good. Not as good as if you send me like a check for 10 grand to thank me, but I'll still feel good. Okay, here we go. We're inside my computer. This is Power E-Trade. You're gonna see something like this. If you go to etrade.com, log into your account down at the bottom right hand uh, corner you'll see a little thing that says launch pad then you're going to launch power e-trade when you do that this is going to come up i don't know if it's going to look like this or what exactly the screen will look like when it first pops up but regardless we can still work with it so up here the way that power e-trade is is based around these tabs here so this is kind of your, your little lifeline here of tabs. You click on trading, which is where we are right now. Then you can bring up the second set of tabs. So under, under each, each one of these trading markets and account, you're going to have a subset of tabs below. So if you click on uh, quote and you'll be able to get a quote, you can kind of see basically a quick overview of that stock that you're looking at. And you type the stock up here, of course, where it says symbol. Um, then you can go to chart that's going to bring up more of a full page chart that you can zoom in and out on uh, you get your scrolling bar on your on your mouse that you can scroll back and forth zoom in and out on then you're going to have your time frames here this is uh, important obviously so three days five days ten days one month three months etc so those are all your time frames if you were to go to today which is where we are right now click on today then you're going to have your intraday uh, time frame so you can click right here on frequency and you can see like the five minute chart that's going to give you the five minute chart for today um, you can click on 15 minutes uh, just depends on what you want to focus on one minute's where i like to keep it i don't use power e-trade i use e-trade pro but um, for for what we're doing today you can see everything you need to see and this would work great for the casual trader so anyway get your time frames there uh then you can actually see and you can zoom in you can uh, change i believe you can probably change the colors but i haven't really looked that far into it like on my e-trade pro i like to change things up a bit make it a little more lively I'm not sure if you can do that on here or not but then you would go to uh Another thing you have up here that's important, you can do options if you're an options trader. You got the trade lab, um, which can display strategies. And then you got strategy seeker, and this is going to, if you if you don't know what to trade and you're kind of trying to come up with some ideas on something to trade, you can go to trade ideas and you can click on 
uh, whatever it is that you're a little more biased. If you think the market is, uh, it actually walks you through it. Like right here, it says, what's your market outlook? If you think the market is bullish, meaning that it's gonna go up, or bearish, meaning it's gonna go down, then you would click on uh, whatever you think is gonna happen. And then you can start putting, going through the little prompts here. How much do you want to invest? What's your target price of this stock, etc. So then it's gonna give you an idea of how you can trade that stock that you're looking at. Anyway, that's kind of the basics of the trading tab. Then if you go to markets, this tab up here in the middle, then you're gonna have, uh, like right now we're looking at market view, which is just giving you an overview of the markets, the Dow Jones, the S&P, the VIX, uh, just kind of showing you the numbers on how the, how the markets are doing today. Click on news, you're gonna get a feed of the top news as it comes out, all the, the biggest news that's hitting the, the wires right now, you're gonna be able to see that. And if you go to a calendar I've never used, I don't really know what it is. It looks like it's a earnings calendar. So cool, looks like an earnings calendar from what I can tell there. And then if you go to watch list, you can build a watch list. And then if you go to live action, this is something you might actually use. This is kind of your scanner here. So if you go to live action tab under markets, then you can uh, put your, you can use different scanners. You're like right now I've got it on percent gainers, um, but there's all kinds of different ones. You can do percent losers. It's gonna scan the market for the biggest losers of the day. Um, so you got gap down on high volume, gap up on high volume. So these are this is where you can come up with some different stocks to trade. If you have no idea what to look for and you just want to see what's hot, what's moving in the market, you would go to markets and then go to live action. So um, other than that, uh, if you go to trading and you're in your charts, it really doesn't matter where you're at, but you can, you can do this from anywhere. But let's say that you're looking at your chart and you think, hey, this thing is going to go up. So you want to play, place a trade on it. You can click trade up here in the corner and there's probably other ways to trade that I don't know about. So if you do know more than me about Power E-Trade, feel free to comment down below and help other people that are watching this video. If you know a better way to do any of this or something that I left out, comment and uh, let other people know and help them out. But click trade up here if you want to place a trade. This box is going to pop up. Now you can see the ticker that we're looking right now is HYLN. So you can type whatever in there, whatever you want to trade. Let's say you wanted to place a trade on SPY, the S&P 500 ETF. Uh, then you would type the ticker in, it would bring it up. You can see the bid and the ask right here. So this is the buyers and this is the sellers. That's the price that they're at. Right now the market's actually closed. So uh, it's not gonna be moving or changing, but and you can put your quantity in here. Let's say you wanted to buy 10, then you would come down here and you would put limit if you wanna use a limit order, and then you would type in the price that you wanna pay. If you wanna use a market order, you would just put market here, and then when you place your trade, you're gonna get filled uh, somewhere within the spread. Then this is also where you would set stop losses. Let's say you wanted to set a stop limit uh, order here. You would put your stop trigger here. That's where the, the stop would be triggered and sent to the, the market maker. And then your limit price here. Um, then you could use trailing stops as well. Um, just depends on what you want to use, but this is where you would set your, your uh, stop loss and where you would place trades in and out of a stock. So there you go. Other than that, let's see, is there anything else you really need to know? Um, these here, let's see. Yeah, that's gonna be your, your line, so you can draw your trends. Other than that, you know, that, that kind of is the basics. You got, I guess, the, I guess what you need to know, the bottom line, the basics here, is that these are your tabs up here. This is what everything is based around in Power E-Trade. So you can go to trading and then you can get to your charts. That's probably one of the first things you need to be able to do if you're gonna be looking at Power E-Trade for charting. You need to be able to find a chart. Um, you need to be able to place a trade, which would be this little button right here. And then uh, you need to be able to find stocks to trade. 
So this comes in very handy for that because you got your markets live action and you can do your scanners to find something to trade. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's, that's the basics. That's what you need to know. Other than that, you can kind of play around with all the different stuff. You can play around with uh, uh, like those, the, the strategy seeker and all that. I haven't really ever used any of that. Uh, I personally wake up and I'm scanning the, the markets pre-market looking for the hottest stocks. I do it all on my own, so I don't really need a, a strategy scanner, seeker, or whatever you want to call it thing to help me get, get ideas. I just do all that on my own and you guys will too once you get started if you haven't already. But for beginners, it could be pretty helpful. Uh, yeah, that's about all I got. So like I said, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what I left out what you would like to see a video on in the future and I will do that and yeah if you just want to say hi you, you can do that as well shoot me an email my emails on the the YouTube page there it's um, nomadtradinglife at gmail.com if you got any in-depth questions or whatever I answer all my emails all my comments personally all that stuff so you can talk directly to me uh, we'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching if you made it this far, first of all, I just want to say I love you. You must have liked the video, so make sure you give me that thumbs up, uh, subscribe, notifications on, of course, and then click on one of my videos to the side. If the YouTube algorithm is doing its job, there should be one over there. If not, just go to my page and check it out. Thanks for watching. Peace.